Hi friends, welcome to Tech ARK IT YouTube channel. My name is Ravi. In this video session, we are going to learn about logger. So, how so basically in shell scripts you can make that like uh, redirecting the output of the particular file and um, you can later execute in the script you can uh, spe verify that the script run perfectly or is there any error all the stuff right but uh, making your own files so are uh, deleting after that sometimes so later if you wanted to reference those files like which date which time the um, file got run are the errors or the uh, what of the scripts successfully run reference you wanted to get then um, which may have to customize it your scripts or you have to m make more effort on that to create it but using this logger command which can be uh, specified very easily and you can store your all the scripts outputs are the uh, on the single uh, uh, place using the syslog server or you can also paste into the uh, messages files or uh, any other file so what happens here it is that it makes your life easier for adding the tags to the each and every script so that you can debug each and every script and you can uh, know the status of that script uh, easily so let's go ahead and create our template say that uh, logger logger okay and go to our uh, scripts directory and uh, okay and logger dot sh file and in this save uh, log the messages from script to uh, log file and say 1.0 and here i am saying that something like um, i am not writing any big script over here let's example say uh, some uh, little scripts i am writing over here example say df h i am uh, writing this script output to the somewhere else that df h something like this and i am using over here that echo okay and say dollar question mark okay so this will what it will do is that it, if the status of that one is um, successful then it's give you the zero right then i'm saying that and 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 so echo if that executes successfully then it say this should be successful okay uh, or else we can maybe uh, see that something like this status over here and I am assigning that um, echo value to over here I am writing the if condition here and say uh, dollar status okay is equal to zero then what it say that logger i am doing the logger command over here and say add some tag tag so tagger is that say logger script something like this so for identifying easily and say uh, iphone f so you wanted to make where your file should be so slash or slash uh, log slash messages so here i would like to uh, log this one okay say the message would be so what is the message over here so the message would be uh, success successfully executed and uh, within the quotation marks over here i am doing logger message i am sending this uh, successfully executed and with the tag called log logger script to the messages file and i'm closing this and that's it so if the command is executed successfully then what what happens it will um, execute the script into the long messages or if not executed successfully then we have to make some more else command over here so that uh, logger 
um, fail to execute execute df command and I'm using the same tag over here and the same files and close it and execute this logger.sh file so what happens uh, it give us an error because uh, we do not have any permissions to write the messages file so now and here so maybe we can make a duplicate file this one something like this and watch that file tail iphone f slash watch slash long messages so here okay again there is a permission issue and make this file watched and now execute this script the second script i'm going to execute over here maybe we can say here little bit something like this and this window would be over here and we can see that log file is writing to this file sh and say logger.sh enter see the log script executed successfully you can see this tag over here like that if you want to grab that later and words okay example say that uh, if you want to find that file later like it is executed successfully or not using the uh, log script tag so you can um, specify that simple over here so messages and you can use the grep and here you can say log script so see this the script is executed successfully like that you can log your uh, script file uh, log messages to the particular file instead of writing to the particular uh, file something like that using the tags so that would be very very useful whenever you would like to reference that script is executed successfully or not or you can also specify particular host example say you have centralized syslog server so if you want to um, uh, monitor from all the scripts from the single console uh, like this uh, you have 100 servers but you wanted to monitor all the 100 server scripts is executed successfully or not so what you can do that you can make some simple syslog server and you can find all these log files to that uh, sub particular server based on the tags and you can just uh, use the tail command of that particular file so that uh, whenever the script runs and execute fails or execute successful then you can see the log on the single skin itself that's about the logger you can use on the scripts or you can also make use of a logger command on the um, anywhere so on the scripts or anywhere else so that's about it about this video thanks for watching stay tuned please subscribe to the channel for more upcoming courses and videos please follow us on social networking sites if you have any technical related questions you can ask